Hi everyone, how's everyone doing here today? Thank you for watching, and uh, well, yet again, it looks like we have to talk about it some more at least, because just one little observation. Recently we had the uh, Super Bowl, which I didn't even watch. I'm not into sports. I don't watch it. I never have been, besides playing with them on occasion. Yeah, I'll hang out on bar with some friends to watch while they're watching a the game, but as to who plays, wins or loses, it doesn't interest me. The one takeaway I had from this particular Super Bowl was the fact that so many people, especially those on the right, were having a complete meltdown and hissy fit over, you guessed it, Taylor Swift. And I can't wrap my head around it. Why? I mean, I mean, I get why, but it's like, it's gotten to the point where some of these people are like putting out some of the most ridiculous conspiracy theories I have ever heard. The whole PSYOP thing that, you know, she's working in cahoots with the NFL so that during the game she can put in an endorsement for Biden to get him back into the office, that something to do with the CIA. There's even some religious theories out there, and I'm just like... And some people are actually buying into this nonsense, to which I say, and I'm saying this respectfully, but what the hell is the matter with you people? Seriously, you really listen to all this nonsense and believe it? All she did was, at one point, put out a post because... She didn't like what was going on with MAGA, in particular, Marsha Blackburn, who is the representative in her state of Tennessee, and she encouraged people to vote, and a lot of Swifties have done so. And on and off, ever since then, uh, there's just been a lot from far-right commentators criticizing her, just with routine character assassination, and just making up a lot of nonsense, because they don't like the fact that she's in opposition to the far-right MAGA, to Donald Trump. And... You know, in the end, the problem is not Taylor Swift. It really isn't, okay? I mean, she has a right to use her platform, you know, to endorse or encourage whoever he wants or to encourage her fans, the Swifties, to get more politically involved. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Uh, you've got other celebrities on Trump's side, like uh, Ted Nugent, Kid Rock. Ted Nugent, who uh, has one song where he talks about, you know, hooking up with an underage girl. Yeah. I guess you want him hanging out with your daughter, your daughter's right, and same thing with Kid Rock, something similar, it just, uh, they don't have, they only have like a fraction of the popularity that uh, Taylor has, so it's got a lot of Republicans in, uh, all up in arms and concerned that she might encourage her fans to like, get out and vote, which would, you know, provide a considerable amount of opposition against Donald Trump in the 2024 election and say nothing about other members of the GOP. But ask yourself this. Like I said, she is not the problem. She's suggesting to get out and vote and in opposition uh, to Trump and the GOP because why, as a lot of people have noted, they are not getting things done. Okay? They're too busy on this whole mega extreme thing, just catering to one person. The person's not you. Yes, it's to Donald Trump, who's become more like this fascist leader. And a majority of America is just getting fed up with it, including Taylor. So the problem is not Taylor. The problem is with the GOP and who they've chosen to align themselves with. And as a result, uh, it's not America first. They're not doing anything for America for the most part. Their only big accomplishment was the impeachment of Mayorkas, which doesn't do anything for the people. It's also a bogus impeachment. Instead of worrying about Taylor, why don't they focus on actually passing laws and bills to get things done for the people leading up to 2024. And instead of, you know, putting Trump out there, which sadly, unfortunately, he's going to more than likely be the Republican candidate in 24, get somebody else, uh, a normal Republican, a normal person that's going to actually support the people. But they don't, and as a result, they just keep on losing, all right? Okay, they just recently lost the special election race in New York District 3, and like I said, it's only going to get worse for them, because they just, a majority of them, continue to align themselves with Donald Trump. So, now that Taylor Swift speaks out, you know, about getting her Swifty fans to vote, you guys are all in up in arms. And instead of, like I said, just really dealing with the problem, you just, again, you're looking for the ways, like, making up all this stuff on Taylor Swift. And it's not doing anything for you guys, quite the opposite, but... You know, you're going to learn the hard way. When Biden wins in 2024, you're going to be yet again just... The GOP is going to be wallowing around. Most likely, they'll uh, lose the House in 2024 as well if they don't get their act together. So, that's on them. It's not Taylor Swift's fault. It's their fault. It's 
Donald Trump's fault. It's for the people that continue to support him. Okay? Wake up and let's put this mega, you know, whole movement thing down because it's not doing anything for America. And I'm not the only one that sees it. Neither is Taylor Swift. A lot of Americans see it, so... <laughs> Again, like I said, keep going on with all these conspiracy theories. Keep, you know, getting the Swifties annoyed. Watch them when they mobilize and they start voting against your best interests because they're the ones voting for America. Not Donald Trump, not mega Republicans uh, in Congress. Okay? That's a simple bottom line. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I really hope you understand.